Hey guys, K Town 431. Uh, we're here in the garage, getting ready to do three simple installs. You can do it uh, by yourself. Uh, no need for a trained Harley mechanic to do it. None of these parts are Harley parts, um, as you see in my last video. And uh, we're talking less than 150 bucks to do all these uh, these installs. If you're somebody like me, it can take a little while to save up that $150, but it's well worth it. I'm excited to get out and. Uh, We'll install these things and get out and try them out. So uh, stay tuned and we'll go through the install process. Okay guys, so <clears throat> to mount these hand guards, you're gonna be removing the nut that holds on the mirror. Got a half inch deep well, it's gonna be the best way of doing that. Loosen that up real quick. So it's important not to lose the hardware guys. You're gonna have a uh, washer there, and then the nut. And you wanna take this, you're gonna mount it right there where the mirror goes. Just make sure you have it at an angle, guys, where um, you know you don't want it touching, all right? You wanna give yourself a little room for your fingers. So that's where we're gonna mount that at. And just make sure when you, you know, if you have an emergency braking situation, you're gonna be throwing that hand up there pretty quick. So you want to make sure you have enough room to get in there and you're not getting your fingers hung up on the shield, on the guard, excuse me. So that's gonna be it, guys. Very simple. Just make sure you still have good use of your brake and clutch levers. Make sure that shield's on there getting tight and your mirror is where you need to have. And uh, same thing with the other side. Uh, for time, we're not going to go ahead and record that side. We're just going to go move on to uh, the next part we're going to install. Okay, guys. So next up, we're going to be taking off uh, this section here. Um, we're actually not taking it off. Just removing the hardware um, so we can install the cell phone holder, the phone uh, gripper or biker gripper is what they call it on the law budding biker website so we're going to take those two out it's a t27 bit get that done okay guys so when you're doing this it's going to come with some new hardware um, make sure you use the standard bolts for your harley and the longer um, spacers it tells you in the instructions to you know make sure you're supporting this your mass is on the while you're doing this i'm just going to do one bolt at a time um, just so we don't have to worry about trying to hold that and record and all the things. So, uh, and also the hardware they give you are not T-bits. Uh, they're standard hex bits. So, um, just make sure, and they actually come with the tool to do it. So, makes it a bit easier. You can see why they give you longer hardware. I mean, obviously. Once you put those spacers on there, uh, just make sure you uh, you use the existing washers. So I'm putting it on here right now with the ball facing the the opposite direction. But I'm gonna switch it around to the other side once I'm done installing. So just a heads up on that. So you won't, just in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. If it comes with the hex wrenches for you. So don't tighten it down too much if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. Just enough to hold the mass cylinder in place. So you can go ahead and remove the bottom bolt. 
which as you can see, it's still kind of shifted a little bit on me because you don't want to lose your positioning. Um, if any of y'all have done bars replacement like I have, um, that's what turns it into a, a multiple person job. So you have somebody uh, able to line that up for you while you're seated. Got the other stud and spacer. Remember to use the existing washer. Okay, so I finally moved that ball around to the other side. I had to use my own wrench for it, not a huge deal. Um, snugging this guy down real quick. All right, so that's on there. Now you just take the biker gripper, law abiding uh, biker store. Stick that stinker on there. It needs to, it's gonna pop in there, like such. Now they repeat themselves several times uh, on the video regarding this, saying don't use any tools to do this. Hand tighten it. You don't need to go real far um, because again, this is plastic. We don't want to break that, so. That's gonna be good. Now I'll adjust it and everything once uh, I get to riding but to do a quick test on it. This is an iPhone 10 with OtterBox. Yeah, it's sitting there pretty good. No complaints so far. So far, real test will be at 80 miles an hour uh, in the appropriate uh, speed zone. Uh, so give me a second and we're gonna get set up and we'll uh, do the other side and put the cup holder on. Okay, so with this one, um, you really should have a second person to help you with this. Unfortunately, I don't at this moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a crayon, one of my kids. Uh, hopefully I can get it off later. <laughs> I'm gonna mark the position of my um, switch cluster. Uh, so if it does shift on me, I can get it close to being back to where it was before. Uh, once we finish so i'm going to do that off the back piece here to the grip just with a little mark and then on this front piece here and that should hopefully make it easier to line everything up we'll see okay guys so the the instructions that serial gives you tells you that when you do this um you want to compare the hardware you're taking out with the two sets of hardware they give you. Um, I didn't really look at it yet, but I'm guessing one is metric, one is standard. So make sure you do that. You don't want to be trying to put metric threads into a standard thread. I could uh, resolve some unwanted maintenance for sure. Okay guys, so when doing this one, you do not want to use the washers that came off the the hardware that came out of here, the stock Harley hardware, because they will not fit in these countersunk holes. Um, so again, just you don't want to do the washers. All you're going to be doing is the bolts and the spacers, which I just dropped one. So put the bolts through, put the spacers on, and then once you take your hardware out, again, try to support the weight of this, and then install uh, the perch mount for the cup. So this is definitely no simple task to do by yourself. So I suggest that if you have somebody at home to help you do that, because this is keeping enough pressure on the, on the cluster to keep it from moving. It's difficult, but Looks like I kept it lined up pretty good. All right, so that's on there. 
you can see the the marks what I do with the crayon wipe that off there so there it is so on to the next step mounting the cup it's probably gonna be the same way as the other one um, I'm not gonna really look at the instructions should be self-explanatory here just pop it on there and then screw on the lock nut again don't use any tools for this you should be able to do it with your hand no problem all right so there's that so guys those three installs are very simple to do um as you saw it took about 20 minutes to do them all and honestly the installs itself were faster than that i just went and grabbed some tools that made uh, the install a little bit faster a little easier uh but for the most part uh, a lot of the stuff you'll need comes with it um, as far as the the drink uh, holder and the, the biker gripper um, now the hand guards as you saw it was a half inch socket deep well socket it was that simple now i did it by myself i definitely recommend you have somebody here with you when you're doing it um, just to keep the positioning on your brake and clutch levers where they were when you started um, as you saw i used a crayon to help mark it uh, still not a bad idea uh, even if you have somebody helping just in case they slip a little bit get those uh those positions right back to where you you had them where you're comfortable with so yeah that's gonna be about it um this this install all three items i mean it cost less than 150 dollars for all three things and it took me some time to save up the money to do that but uh it's definitely easy installs you can do at home be on this one so that's gonna be um, if any of y'all have any questions as far as where i got the items from uh cost uh, any other anything else you have to have on the channel by all means hit me up in the comments but uh that's gonna be it for this time please like and subscribe if you have not done so already um, if you are one of my members, please feel free to share my videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you do all your social media at. Um, help get some more members on the channel. Reach out to more guys out there who are interested in uh, everything uh, motorcycle. So until next time, ride safe and keep the shiny side up.